Hey guys, my name is Claire, and I've been taking this class on Eric Fromm um, at my school, and for those of you who don't know, it's just been a term-long course where we've kind of been discussing relationships in Eric Fromm's book, Man for Himself. Um, we've watched some TED Talks, and we've looked at some documents, um, but I, today, since it's my final Fromm video, I wanted to read the last paragraph of the, of the man for himself. If I repeat now the question raised in the beginning of this book, whether we have reason to be proud and to be hopeful, the answer is again in the affirmative, with the one qualification which follows from what we have discussed throughout. Neither the good nor the evil outcome is automatic or preordained. The decision rests with man. It rests upon its ability to take himself, his life, and happiness seriously, and his willingness to face his and his society's moral problem. It rests upon his courage to be himself, and to be for himself. I thought that this last paragraph was kind of, was powerful, um, because it's saying that yes, we there's all there's a reason to be proud. There's a reason to be hopeful. There's a reason for the future for you to do what you want to do, but it all rests with us. We can't expect something else to come down and do it for us. It rests upon our ability to take ourselves, our lives, and happiness seriously. Which is why I was kind of curious when our teacher he asked, you know, I can't believe we don't study this more. And I think that's true because, you know, this is kind of setting your relationships to other people, to yourself, to the world, to how you live your life. Um, and I think it's kind of surprising how none of us, how we don't study this in, more in school because I gained a lot of knowledge about myself and about other people. And I already, already find myself watching people closer watching my relationships closer, um, paying more attention to the world around me, and trying to be, trying to be more than half. Um, if you guys remember the first week, we had the being mode versus having mode of existence, and I feel like I'm more tuned into the being mode now than I was before, and I'm more turn, um, I notice the difference more. The decision rests on our willingness to face our and our society's moral problem. I think that kind of goes back to the having and the being because I think we live in a society where having is kind of, is the typical way to live. And being is such a if you live and you be in you're in the being mode, your life is so much more fascinating. And I think it's something special when you find that in your own life. It rests upon our courage to be ourselves and to be for ourselves. We have, if we don't have the courage to be ourselves, we'll be, we will have a mask. We will be pretending to be something that we're not. And even though that's exhausting, it's also damaging. It means that we have a single story about ourselves. Um, as I referring to to Mamanda Adichie's TED talk, and you know what that limits our potential, and that limits who we can be and all that we can be, um, and it's just very damaging to who we are. And it rests on our upon our courage to be for ourselves. We have control in ways that we probably don't know. And some of that comes from the fact that we have no control over almost everything in our entire life. People come and go as they please. We can't control them. We can't control the universe. We can't control nature. And, I, and pretending to is almost just as damaging as having a single story. In a way, it is a single story about the other, it's a single story about the world. And that can be just so damaging to people. 
and you know what, if you're for yourself, there's something to be said for that because it doesn't have to be selfishness. It doesn't have to be you looking for your, after yourself, um, just for yourself and ignoring other people and not being kind or not being nice. We have these new core values at our school called integrity, celebration, grit, and kindness. And kindness is such an important thing at the end. And you can have all of those values and still be for yourself and still respect yourself and still understand that you, your little part that you play in the universe. And so I'm going to leave you guys with that and just saying that thank you for watching and thank you for to everybody else for taking this class with me. It's been an amazing experience and thank you to Mr. Splat, thank you to Mr. Um, our teacher and I really appreciate having this opportunity. So, see you guys.